wanted to show you how you can use the Textures Reflections Heart Nested Die Set. So within this set we have different pieces but we essentially have one beautiful decorative die. Now this does remind me a little bit of folk art or um, some embroidered fabric as well. So I'm really going to work with that and use that as inspiration. This one is one of my favorites that I've made using this die set. Um, I love the colors and of course you can really mix up the colors for different themes. So I'm going to show you how I got a similar effect for something really quite beautiful, elegant and delicate such as a wedding card. Now just using this die I'm going to cut into some paper here. So I am going to tape down my die with a little bit of low tack tape. I'm cutting into some cardstock, it's a pearlescent ivory cardstock. And a little tip for this because there's a lot of pieces that come out of this die. It's a good idea to just pop the entire die and the paper into a thin little plastic bag like so. So this is one that usually comes as packaging around some of your dies and stamps, um, washi tapes, sheets, things like that. Just pop that inside there and that will just help to keep everything in the bag when you bring it out of the die cutting machine. So there my die is cut and everything inside the bag and not inside my plate because as we know die cutting plates do get quite static and they can hold on to small pieces of paper and cardstock. So now we can remove all of this onto our craft mat, including the sheet of plastic there. And we can just dispose of this. And now we can pop all of the pieces out. Now we have a beautiful aperture to start with that we could use as well on something else. So I'll definitely keep that to the side. And then I'm just going to use my poker tool. Just going to release everything there with the poker tool all of the pieces out and these will all drop out so it's worth holding this maybe over a tray so you can catch all the pieces or on a surface where you can easily sweep everything up so I'll just gather everything up there now I've cut this once from ivory once from a beautiful olive green once from a pale like a baby pink and then I've embossed the die into craft cardstock as well so to create the base of my card, I'm going to mat and layer some of those colours together. So I've got the ivory matted with the pale pink around the background, and then I'm going to put it all onto a craft base. Now this is a tall DL card, very in fashion now. Just to mat that onto there. And then I'll bring this in. This is one I've already started. So as you can see, I've cut from the craft card stock um, and embossed that. So I've actually used one of the nesting dies from the set to cut the outline. Embossed with a rubber mat the detail into the craft card stock. I've then layered my ivory heart over the top and I've started piecing in some of the pieces that I've cut from the pink and the green. Now I've got some of these left over here. So I'm just going to continue putting the last few ones of these in. And it's actually easier if you pop the glue onto the cardstock behind, the craft in this case, than if you try to put the glue onto the die cut. So just pop that over there and that should sit beautifully in the right place. You can use a little pair of tweezers or a pokey tool or something if you need to. I just have a pink flower to pop there also. And then I've got lots of little pieces left. So I've got all of these ivory coloured pieces still left over that came out of the original ivory coloured die that I cut. So I'm going to use those as well. First I'm going to place this panel down onto my card around about a third of the way from the top like so and that is a beautiful card on its own anyway but just to add a little bit of texture to the background I'm going to bring in all of these additional items here that we've got I'm going to start placing them onto my card so it's the same color ivory going on it's a very very subtle effect but it's really beautiful so they can go around the heart there and then we have a couple more bottom and I'm going to start playing with the placement of these and pop a little bird at the top there
And there we have a beautiful textured and layered card, perfect for a wedding, perfect for an anniversary, or even a new baby. Um, it looks really beautiful, very, very simply done, and just with the one die.